Yo, what's cracking, everybody? Ron here with Get Fat Food, where we eat like pigs with just a little bit of class. Today, it is Memorial Day, uh, where we celebrate the fallen, and uh, you know, just want to give respect. But also, it's it, it is a federal holiday, and people are going to the beaches. It's starting to get warm, and I'm out here trying to hustle. So let's see how busy it is today. I'm going to work Uber Eats and possibly DoorDash at night and uh, we'll see what's going on. I, I doubt the dinner shift will be busy, but it looks like lunch might be busy because there's a lot of people out. So yeah, let's see how it goes, man. So it is 11 o'clock. Let me go online here. So da the DoorDash says it's it's a little busy. But I'm going to do Uber Eats, so let's see. Start drive. See, you got to count your miles, you guys. Count your miles. Okay. Let's go online. We'll see what we can get. Hopefully, we get some nice stacked orders. Oh man, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully you're spending time with your family and ordering food too. <laughs> I don't want to work too late tonight. Tonight, Today's an extra day. I usually don't work Mondays because Mondays are usually pretty slow. Um, Tuesdays are iffy. Sometimes I'll work, sometimes I won't. But like I said, today is a holiday, so things might be a little different. Might be hella busy, might be not so busy. Here we go. Popeyes, 1.6 miles, $7. Going to Daily City. I will take it. Head to your pickup at Popeyes, 990 ceremony. All right, guys. Let me go pick up this uh, Popeyes and then we'll see what else we can do. All right, you guys. Just picked up the Popeyes order. Got a couple sodas. Good thing I have my drink holder. And I've got my thing right there. Let's go ahead and head to our customer. So they are in Daily City. They want me to go on Sarah. Southgate. Okay. Let's go. Ah, I was hoping something would add on, but no, just Popeyes. And it's not bad for what was it almost eight dollars like seven dollars something so hopefully the tip is more let's head over there all right you guys just delivered the uh popeyes order i got a 20 dollar order double stacked order for dim sum king let's see let's see what i can get with that Okay, let's roll. Oh, 
sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Let's back up a little bit here. Let's roll. Oh. It's a little warm today, you guys. Usually it's like in the 50s. Today's like in the Right now it's mid 60s, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go up to like 70s. And that's hot for us. I know it's not very hot at all. It's actually perfect weather uh, for most people, but it is hot for us. Because <laughs> we're always used to gloomy and ugly. And uh, yeah. So that was. Popeyes, which was seven dollars. This one was twenty dollars with included tip. There's two orders, um, and they're going to San Francisco. I usually don't like to go to San Francisco, but the miles were good. You know, it was only like I think five miles, and or I think it was eight, something like that. It was less than ten for sure. And we're looking at 20 bucks. So I'm like, overall, that's not a bad order at all. You want to do... So, when it's slow, you got to do 10... Or not 10, sorry. At least more than a dollar per mile. So, you know, when you... Either DoorDash or Uber Eats, it'll show you the mileage, the time. Sometimes it doesn't show the time and the the you know estimated amount you're gonna get for that job what you want to do is you want to make sure that your uh miles to money ratio is at least at least a dollar okay so when it's slow you can accept ones that are have a little bit higher mileage you know but that's just how it is and then other days like other times like when like right now right it's a lunch rush you don't accept anything less than two dollars per mile or at least that's the way i have been doing it now i don't have a particular zone i do have daily cities where i usually work but if it has me going all the way to uh, millbrae california that's crazy i mean unless it's a huge dollar amount and it's worth it to me i'll do it but yeah let's go over here to dim sum king oh man i hope there, i hope there's parking i don't think there's parking all right guys let me pick this up and i'll see you guys in a bit <sighs> okay you guys i had to cancel that dim sum king order because they wanted me to wait they will first they made me wait five minutes then they said you know hey uh it's gonna be they said oh it's ready i'm like oh okay and then they're like yeah 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 it's ready and i asked a couple times and then they said Oh, yeah, yeah, almost ready. And I see a bunch of orders, like, bagged up already. It's not, I guess it wasn't it. I canceled the order, or I canceled my delivery for that. I canceled the pickup. I was like, because they're taking too long. You're annoying. I'm willing to wait, you know. Um, if they tell me right away, like, hey, you know what? It's going to be another, like, 10 minutes. And I might be willing to wait. But when they keep telling you, yeah, yeah, it's almost ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, dude, tell me. And then finally I got fed up waiting. And I was like, that was almost 10 minutes of me waiting. I just wasted 10 minutes. And then I asked them again, is it ready? And they're like, no, no, no. Okay, well then, <laughs> you're gonna have to find someone else to deliver this shit. <laughs> 
Time is money, you guys. Time is money. And I wasted 10 minutes doing that when I could have did my second pickup instead. So now I got to do my second pickup, which is Panda Express. And I'll just deliver that. And I, you know, I put it on the app on Uber Eats like, hey, these guys are taking too long. I know they're busy, but there's like a whole army of people working. So I don't understand why they would take that long or at least give me the correct information. Tell me, hey, it's going to be another 10 minutes. Maybe I might be more willing to, you know, to work with you guys, you know? But when you just keep shooing me off and tell me to wait outside, that's it, that doesn't work, dude. I got to get going. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so on my way and uh, yeah let's go pick up Panda Express so I guess it's not $20 anymore this might only be like 8 bucks or something 10 bucks hopefully alright see you in a bit alright you guys picked up the Panda Express order I mean I feel a little bad for that uh the order I canceled, or the pickup order I canceled from Dim Sum King, but dude, look at this. I already have the second order and I'm going. I, I probably would have barely got the food by now. And it's already been like five minutes or so, 10 minutes, you know? Now, if I wanted to, I would, uh, if I wanted to, I could just come back, you know, but it's just out of the way already. So, well, let's see what else we could do. Man, it's, uh, maybe it's cause it's Memorial day. It's busier, but this, uh, so far today kind of sucks. I've only made $8. And I don't even know how much this one's going to be. So, yeah. <laughs> I think this one's only $8 as well. Yeah, so today is not a great day so far. But let me see what else I could do. Oh, man. You know, my, my goal every week is to make $750. Every week, at least. If I can make more, like a thousand, that's great. And usually I want to work about 40 hours a week or five days a week at eight hours or, um, you know, whatever I could do, right? Usually I take Monday, Tuesdays off. Today is Monday, but it is a holiday, right? So today is kind of an extra because I might work Wednesday night. Um, you know, so far uh, lately, I've been leaning more towards uh, Uber Eats um, only because what all the orders, there's a lot of junk orders on DoorDash right now. Like, oh my God, a lot of no tip orders, which, you know, I understand if you don't want to get a tip, if you don't want to tip me, that's fine. So go get it yourself. You're paying me to go to the store for you wait in line grab your order and take it to your house i understand there's other cultures out there who don't tip um you know like i think in japan or something where they pay they pay the employee more um per they actually just pay the employee more per hour that way it's uh it makes up for the fact that they don't get tips because you know their culture is not a tipping culture where i'm at this is a tipping culture <laughs> so i mean uh i'm on the side of other drivers where they say no tip no trip and i'm okay with that you know so let me know what you guys think. Are, do you guys agree? I mean, you're going to make me go do that for whatever, $3, $4 with peak pay? No, I'm sorry. I don't do that. Or just like this. This one was a good order for that Dim Sum King, but 
man they're just taking too long and they weren't being good communicators so i was like you know what bye and this panda express one is going a lot further than i thought it would be but uh well the good thing about uber eats is they don't have all these grocery orders they don't have any of that it's mostly food and then sometimes you might do alcohol like if you go 7-eleven or something and then but pretty much it's all food right and it's it's kind of non-stop because there's no zones so even if you have to go far you can at least uh keep working you know whereas doordash you go outside your zone you got to drive back so anyway that's enough of my rant let's get this food delivered and uh yeah i'll see you guys in a bit all right you guys just delivered the panda express and i made a boo-boo so i accidentally accepted an order that was uh kind of bad i mean so it's a stacked order it's two orders from two different places and on top of that it was like 14 miles and it was only 18 dollars total so i don't feel good about it i already accepted it i could cancel it but you know i feel like on, on our end as drivers it is our responsibility to dissect and look at the orders now i'm sorry i keep rent today i just keep complaining <laughs> but today uh or actually yesterday and today i've noticed that while i'm you know playing around with my screen on uber eats when an order pops up it just pops up even though your thumb is or your finger is already on it so it's like you accept the orders without wanting to accept the orders like that's what just happened and so luckily i you know i i memorized what it said and it was 18 dollars for 14 miles with two orders so hopefully the tip is big but man today's just not my day you guys <laughs> it is just not my day uh, but yeah, we're picking up some sushi and what else are we picking up? Some Thai food and we're dropping off all the way to San Francisco, unfortunately. And right now I'm in South City. So we're uh, South San Francisco, which is South of San Francisco. I know it's confusing. South San Francisco is actually a city. So, um, but yeah, let's pick up some sushi and some thai food and deliver it even though i messed up on the mileage and all that uh, i this yeah this is like the third time in the last two days that i've accidentally accepted an order without looking at it and i don't know that's just my rant for uber eats maybe they could do something in the app like hey did you really want to do this order you know just like a confirmation but anyway that's enough of my rant let's pick up this food let's deliver it see you guys in a bit oh you guys oh man i messed up i accepted an order for tacaria las pencas and I waited a long time and given it was a big really big order so I've got it all right here but man there's uh, I got some chicken satay that needs to go and I think that one's further it's like all the way in the city whereas this big order that I waited a, like 10 minutes for is going nearby so 
this one's first oh man and you know what because I was kind of like in a small downtown area I figured hey I'll just walk to the Mexican place and Las Pencas and the problem was it took so long and I walked like two or three blocks away and there was so much parking around the taqueria and I was like oh man I should have just parked right here oh well you know you want to be safe and you want to take any parking you can get and so I had good parking it's just this one was a couple blocks away so I had to walk with a giant order all the way back to the car I'm sweating I'm fat <laughs> excuse me and I got this Thai order that oh my god it's like so far away I feel so bad for this customer I'll probably go ahead and message them and just say I'm on my way but yeah man today is not very good for me <laughs> I think this is only my what is this my third fourth so this is only fourth delivery it's already almost one and I started it at 11 o'clock so it's been two hours and I've only done this is gonna be four deliveries so two per hour I mean it's not bad but I don't like that and the pay that I've been doing has been low so hopefully they tip really well but yeah Anyways, let me go deliver this huge uh, taqueria order from Las Pencas and I'll catch up with you after I do the second one, the little Thai order of chicken satay. Oh man, I feel so bad for them. All they ordered was chicken satay, which is like chicken on skewers. And it's just, it's more of like an appetizer really than like a meal. And they're all the way in the city. I'm right now in South City. So, oh man, I just feel so bad for them. Anyways, um, yeah, it's important you communicate with your your customers and just let them know what's going on, man. Like if it were me, I would love to get updates. Even if the order was hella late, just knowing that, hey, my driver's on it. He's letting me know what's going on. Um, just that alone is good enough. Uh, for me to not be so pissed off I don't have my food yet <laughs> you know I'm more okay with it because hey my driver is updating me so anyways talk to you guys in a bit hey guys so I just delivered that huge Mexican food order the feast and now I am in San Francisco, gonna deliver this small Thai order. And uh, I did message the customer, no, res no response, so pretty sure they're a little pissed. Oh man, I made, I only did four deliveries guys in two hours. Or more than two hours now, it's 1.14. Uh, I just don't get it. I feel off today or something, I don't know. I need to be smarter with my things, you know. I, I declined two pickups today, which I've actually never declined a pickup before. I've never, like, canceled a pickup. So this today is kind of like my first day of canceling those. And by the time I wanted to cancel that big Mexican food order from Las Pencas, it was, I was like, man, there, I see the order already. So they're about to bag it up. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just wait. And I waited a little too long for my taste. Well, whatever we learn we make mistakes we learn from it right so i just got to be a little smoother with, with the the way i work on uber eats or doordash 
and pretty much lunch shift is over on this Memorial Day and I kind of wanted to go to the beach today with my family you guys but I gotta hustle man I gotta make some money so I'll be probably taking Wednesday off though Tuesday Wednesday but we'll see see if I'm up for it all right you guys just dropped off that little Thai food order and as you can see I have made about $52 on these four trips in two and a half hours which isn't super great but it's better than nothing hopefully I can get some more but I'm already I don't know so I just found out that I have quests now and this is recent for me I've never done quests before I don't usually I usually don't pay attention to peak pay or quests or any of that um, I usually don't chase those you know so I just you know try to cherry pick my orders make sure the mile to money ratio is good and so far I've been doing pretty good I've only been doing this for what a month but now I have quests so that's kind of cool hopefully I get something anyways I'll let you guys know if I start my dinner shift or whatever so cool peace what's going on you guys it is 4 15 I'm gonna do my night shift here I got the family with me you guys see him in the mirror? Maybe. No. Uh, we're nah. gonna get we're gonna get some boba first though, because the old lady wants some boba. I kinda want some boba too. <laughs> so let's get some boba and then we'll get started. And what's perfect is the boba is in a plaza that I want to work at. So yeah, let's see what we could get. I think I'll try to do DoorDash too and then just see which yeah, you know, what good orders there are, and then I'll pause the other one or turn it off, and then between Uber Eats and DoorDash. So, okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're on our way to get boba, but I wanted to give you guys an update from my lunch shift. Um, I ended it around 1.30, and I made $56 in from 11 to 2 was it 2? what time did I get home? 1 something wasn't it? oh maybe 1.30 so pretty much I ended at 1.30 sorry not 2 o'clock I went from 11 to 1.30 two and a half hours and I made just about $55 here's my or 56.89 guys see that and uh, on Uber Eats and now we're gonna try and do this dinner shift here hopefully I can make a hundred bucks if I don't I'm not too worried about it but that's the goal is a hundred dollars and the quicker I could do it the better cool hey what's up you guys yeah can actually see my face so <clears throat> we just started uh, we got our boba and we're just chilling Whoa, but I got my first okay. order first order for the night is Wingstop it was uh, 825 for uh, three some three point something miles it's not too bad because it's not four miles so it's definitely above my ratio but yeah let me go pick it up and we'll see how it goes hopefully I get a stacked order I doubt it though goal is to reach $100 tonight I really doubt that we're, I'm going to hit it um, today's a chill day it's Memorial Day Let's do it. You have to wait until someone's there? No, I have to wait five minutes until I can actually leave it and take a picture of it. Uh, 
so it's kind of stupid. All right, guys, I just uh, delivered my first delivery of the night. It was only 8.25. The guy put hand it to customer and he wasn't there. So you, you put, I can't hand it to customer in the app and it says you gotta wait like three minutes or something, five minutes, something like that. Then after you wait, then you can uh, leave it there, take a picture. They want to also make sure that you contacted the customer somehow, some way, calling them or texting them. I called the customer and he said he was actually out uh, real quick. So I told him I told him I was just going to leave it at his front door, and he, he was okay with it. So. And then you wait for the timer and then once the timer goes away you take a picture and then it's just kind of like leave at the door kind of thing and that's it hey guys so i got my second job for today it is 12:50 for a korean tofu house order going five miles so that's not bad five miles and 12:50. they ordered a Almost a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, if you order a lot of stuff, it's easy to go over mm -hmm. or go at a hundred. All right, so let's pick it up. We'll be on our way. you guys second order has been picked up it's huge it's a whole box worth of Korean food <laughs> oh, 18 minutes head east toward Lake Merced Boulevard then turn left onto Lake Merced Boulevard okay let's get going Tonight seems kind of slow, you guys. Or maybe it's not that slow, but maybe there's a lot of people working. Door dashers, Uber Eats drivers. Who knows? All right, so. It's gonna take us 14 minutes to get there. I don't think I'm gonna make a hundred dollars today. <laughs> I made fifty-six dollars during the lunch shift, and now stupid Tesla lady. Did you see that? It wasn't her turn. When you're at a four-way stop, learn whose turn it is. That's why it's called a four-way stop. Because you take turns. Jeez. Anyways. I'm not feeling it tonight at all. <laughs> I'm usually off today and Tuesday, given I've only been doing this food delivery thing for what, a month? I'm just not feeling it tonight. I don't feel like working. What do you think, Mommy? Is this my last one? <laughs> Your kid is hungry. 
I want me some spam musubi or musubi, however you say it. Musubi. So maybe I'll add that to this video here. Just me and the fam bam eating some spam musubi. What'd you say? How you say it? Musubi. Musubi. It's not musubi, right? But that's like the Japanese way of saying it. Maybe. Anyways, <laughs> let's do this delivery, you guys. See you in a bit. All right, you guys, I just uh, delivered that huge Korean order. Um, and now we are on our way to... On our way to get some spam... Musubi, Musubi, Spam Musubi. I'm gonna go to a local place and then probably I'll shoot a car bong. And yeah, I just wanna, you know, it shows that it's really busy right now and here, but I'm just not feeling it, to be honest with you. Just not feeling working right now. I don't know what it is, maybe because it's warm outside. I'm tired. I just want to relax at home. I don't know. But you know, you gotta have a work life balance. Yeah, you can hustle and you know, that's great, you know, make that money. But there are days like this, especially it's a holiday, I could be making hella money right now. But well, my kid's hungry. I'm a little hungry. And uh, I just think it's time to like relax. <laughs> time to eat, you know. Maybe I'll shoot a car bong, you know, for you guys. Spam musubi. Musubi. I keep calling it musubi. How, do you, how are you supposed to say it? Masubi. So we could go this way. Maybe. Maybe a little faster. I'm building all this new stuff right here. All these new buildings. I don't know what it's for though. So overall I've only made $24 <laughs> on my dinner shift. Uh, what can I say? That's it man. I only did two deliveries. It's only been like, what time do we, we started around five. It's only been an hour and a half total and yeah man I mean I'm just not feeling it in any case that $24 plus my $57 is what let me see so $24 Sorry, my math sucks. $81. I made 80 bucks today. Whatever, good enough. <laughs> Something inside me is telling me though, like you should be making money right now. You should be out there making money. If anything, I should buy the spam Masubi for the fam and just keep on working because if you know spam Masubi it's very compact small you can eat it on the go I don't know
We'll see if I keep working. I'll sign out later if anything. <laughs> Alright you guys. Heading home now. Didn't feel like working. So got us some Hawaiian barbecue, some spam masubi and chicken cods masubi. So look out for that mukbang video. <laughs> Just got a few. Uh, but yeah, thanks you guys for riding along with us. Riding along with me for my lunch shift and a little bit of dinner shift. You know, you're going to have days like this too where, you know, you just don't feel like working. And I could be making bank right now, but just don't feel like it. So, in any case, thanks again you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I do mukbang videos, car bongs cooking and food delivery videos like this so stay tuned you guys thanks again support your local businesses keep safe and healthy have a good one you guys peace